In this video, we're going to be using the Windows Server Core in order to install a brand new domain controller into an existing domain slash forest environment. Now, Windows Server Core is the version that you get when you have only a command line available to you. It's not like the traditional Windows Server where you have the graphical user interface that you can point and click on. This is instead more uh, lightweight, more streamlined environment that's a little bit faster, a little bit more resilient for end users and utilizes less resources on your environment. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So first off, we'll see here we have our server core machine and I can go ahead and run ipconfig slash all and we'll see, yes, I have an IP address right here, uh, 192.168.100.12 and very importantly, I have a DNS server configured, 192.196. Uh, 168.100.10. Now that DNS server is pointing to the domain controller of the domain that we want to join. This is really important because the computer will use DNS in order to find all of the resources in the domain. We can confirm this by looking at our server 2016 uh, domain controller here. And we see, yes, we have our first domain called DC1, and he is a member of the domain test. 2016.local and his IP address is right down here. We can go ahead and actually confirm that all of this works by going back to our server 2016 core and I want to use NSLOOKUP. NSLOOKUP is a named server lookup tool that allows us to do DNS queries. And what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and I look up that domain specifically just 26, test 2016.local and it will query this default DNS server for that domain name. When I hit enter, I should get something back. Then that tells me I am connected to the domain controller and I am actually getting DNS results for the domain I'm looking for. Great. So that tells me everything is working as far as connectivity. Now I can go ahead and get into the process of installing. This is a two-step process. First, I have to install the domain controller uh, software, and then I have to configure it. In order to do this, we run under PowerShell. So I'll go ahead and type in PowerShell, and I hit Enter. And we'll notice the prompt changes a little bit. And I want to add a Windows feature. Windows feature, specifically AD Domain Services. And I want to do a dash include management tools. This will install any management tools along with the Active Directory Domain Services features. Go ahead and give that a minute. And there we go. Okay, so we go ahead and see that the success is true. Uh, is a restart needed? No. So that means we can continue on exactly where we're at. The next step in order to install our domain controller is to use the install adds domain controller command. There's a couple of different commands you would use here, whether you're joining an existing domain or creating a new domain or creating a brand new forest. Make sure you're using the right command. Uh, after that, I do a dash domain and I specify the domain uh, specify the domain name that I want to join. Uh, in this case, it is test2016.local. And currently on my machine, I'm not joined to that domain, so I need to give it some sort of credentials in order to allow me to join the domain. So I'm also going to do a dash credential with a dollar sign get dash credential command. Uh, what will happen is the stuff inside these parentheses right here will be run first. It will prompt me for credentials uh, for the test 2016 uh, domain. And then when that's done, it will then process the install command. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Enter asks me for my username and password so i'm going to type in test 2016 backslash administrator and then the administrator's password 
It then asks me for the safe mode admin password. Again, this is the password that you will use in case everything breaks in your environment and you need to restore from backup. Oops. And then says, hey, this machine will go ahead and be rebooted when this is done. Are you sure you want to continue? Uh, the default is yes. So just go ahead and hit enter. Well, you see it's going ahead and it's starting off the install process. Uh, when it's done, it will reboot and then we'll be able to log back in. All right, and now that it's rebooted, we can go ahead and hit Control Delete in order to log in, and we will see that it is trying to log in as the onto the test 2016 domain. Uh, in this case, as the administrator, you can hit Escape to go ahead and change that. Go ahead and log in, and there we see we are now logging into the domain. 